hardware for the drones is uh, really something that there are there are a couple options in our in our price range that meet our needs. The hardware itself is not really that interesting. You know, there may be three or four different kinds of uh, electronic speed controller. You know that that we can afford with our budget, and uh, sort of the way you you build a drone. Um, is uh, uh, certainly there's a lot of room for innovation, but we've we've just focused on let's just build something typical, and then uh, write software that makes it uh, a delight to use. So one of the goals of our project was to create kind of like an application agnostic and generic software platform to run on commodity hardware that you can build and put together yourself. So a lot of our work has been building these abstraction layers, these software libraries and APIs, so that you as a client can write what we call mission applications to build any kind of autonomous multi-drone task that you want. So, you know, we've played with a variety of different applications in the past, and since it's designed to be generic and agnostic, we've done things like uh, sensing a wireless channel strength um, as part of the Rice Networks group. That was one of the prime directives of the project. We've also done things like using a 360-degree spinning LiDAR sensor, like the ones that you see on self-driving vehicles, to get like a three-dimensional map of an environment. So, you know, the, the goal of the project is to design something that's very generic. Um, and that you can apply in different ways. I think one of the things that people um, don't always realize about drones when you're uh, talking about using them for whatever application is that uh, if you can get by with something that's stationary, it's frequently a lot easier. Um, the real advantage of drones comes in applications where they're exploring an environment that's not really accessible by humans or would be too dangerous for humans to, to explore. For instance, if there's a gas leak somewhere, you need to find it. Um, a swarm of drones would be a, a great choice. Um, sending in a person, maybe not, you know, 20 years down the road, maybe they'd have some kind of uh, serious health effect, but, uh, you know, a drone, in the worst case, you crash, and they're pretty cheap, you just buy another. 